El último libro que escribió el líder del pensamiento ateo del siglo XX, Anthony Flew, tiene un título que no puede ser más explícito. Dios existe. Un periodista le pidió que resumiese la razón de tan espectacular cambio y dijo «Ahora creo que el universo fue creado por una inteligencia infinita. Creo que este universo está regido por sus leyes. Creo que la vida se originó de una fuente divina». Y añadió «¿Por qué creo esto dado que defendí el ateísmo durante más de medio siglo?». La respuesta corta es esta. La explicación teísta del mundo tal como la veo ahora nace de la ciencia moderna. Me di cuenta de que si quería mantener mi ateísmo tendría que creer que la nada produce todo, que lo que no tiene vida produce vida, que lo caótico produce el ajuste fino de las constantes de la física, que el caos produce información, que la inconsciencia produce conciencia y creer que la materia produce razonamiento. Y amigos, simplemente no tenía suficiente fe para creer eso. Antes de morir, en 2010, dejó grabadas algunas intervenciones interesantes. Professor Anthony Flew of England and Reading University is the world's foremost academic atheist over the last 50 years and the author of more than 30 books. His first debate with former atheist turned Christian, C.S. Lewis, in 1950 in Oxford, England, was the first time he advanced his argument for atheism. He later wrote a paper titled Theology and Falsification. The paper became the most widely reprinted philosophical publication of the last half century and a key foundation for atheists and agnostics who advanced materialist evolutionism. Flew's main theses were that the universe is eternal, it has always existed and always will, that life is a random process, the result or accidental product of chemical interactions. And third, the existence of God is a self-contradiction and evil is not compatible with the existence of God. That is to say, we start and stop with the universe itself, with the everyday world of common sense and common experience, and with those hidden mechanisms of that world uh, which are progressively revealed by the advance of science. But now it is the advancement of science itself that has changed the mind of flu and some scientists. At a recent summit at New York University, Flu changed his position and now believes in God as the creator of the universe. It is all, in my view, a matter of the enormous uh, complexity by which the results are achieved, which look to me like uh, the work of intelligence. Flew discussed the points with Professor Gerald Schroeder, who was with the Wiseman Institute of Jerusalem and MIT, and Professor John Haldane of the University of St. Andrews. Flew turns to various discoveries of science to prove his point. From the fossil records showing the sudden appearance of a fully developed life to the emergence of visual consciousness across the animal kingdom to the basic need for reproduction. But it is the manifestation of life written in DNA and the transcription of DNA to RNA and RNA into protein and the subsequent process of protein folding that makes the best case for flu. Uh, what, what I think that the DNA material has done has shown by its almost unbelievable complexity of the arrangements which uh, lead to produce uh, this being, uh, that uh, intelligence must have been involved in uh, getting these extraordinarily diverse elements uh, um, uh, to work together.